Hey guys, it's Shannon with Apex Tarot Pure Spirit and I hope that you're doing fantastic. So I'm just hopping in here to do a reading because I'm bored and um, it is what it is. <laughs> I've got three piles here with different card decks um, that I'm using and um, so we got like a past, present, future energy out here or however these energies are going to hit you. So just take the messages as they come. You might just get one message from one card. Uh, out of one of these decks, so whatever, um, you know, whatever the divine needs to say to any given person to help along your way, then that's great. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with this reading. So for time's sake, and because I am using different uh, decks here, uh, I went ahead and shuffled and have these three piles here. So past, present, future the situation is justice okay something that's really out there that has uh, there's a lot of law here for one thing justice is karmic activity it's about the truth it's mutual agreements it's contracts okay so law and legal government stuff okay lawyers um, divorces child support issues anything contractual here mutual out mutuality executives bosses it could be anything and we've got you know the judgment card itself coming up here with the um a sign of scorpio which is under investigative stuff go back to law here okay we also have the cuff coming out here and that is the uh energies of something over being forcibly overthrown in a so social order uh, of something new in some type of new system for doing something this is a bright future though so they've got a law really big with this energy and the queen of cups so something with the queen of cups in the past okay this queen of cups in the upright would be somebody caring and nurturing a nurse a mother a boss somebody who could tap into the intuition in the negative it's very very manipulative energy so if this queen of cups is your mother or uh your wife or your sister or your aunt or somebody in a high position but they are able to overthrow something uh there's some type of judgment here that's taken place in the past or was overthrown or come to the surface or something karmic here okay for the past position uh could be a libra a scorpio a um leo a cancer scorpio pisces coming out here Okay, we do have a 10 vibration, which is also a 1 vibration. So what, the first house would be uh, Aries. The 10th house would be Capricorn. The 10th higher canna would be Sagittarius energy. The first uh, higher canna would be um, Gemini or Virgo as well, coming out with all that vibration. In the right now moment, we have the 10 of Pentacles, so large sums of monies, new contract home situations going on we have people that have been crying over spilt milk in the home uh, third party situations that took place in the past well if you went through a divorce you have exes and stuff like that or other people's money and property and, and financial situations going on and things being overturned with you know your parents or something like that something took place in the right now moment you're either forgiving and uh, working on something, putting the work in, or you're dealing with jobs. We have large sums of money here. 18 pentacles in all, sh in all showing itself. That's a large sum of money. It's also nine pentacles if you are by yourself and you went through a divorce. Then somebody is still possibly in bitterness and crying over spilt milk. Needing healing. This is the pay. This is the mouth. This is 17 though. And that is definitely star energy. Uh, at the same time, it is somebody wanting to pay for what you say. We've got pentacles out here. And uh, we also do have, you know, somebody chewing on something, meditating and listening and getting wisdom and turning around and taking the cups and working on something and, and being very, very profitable with that, okay? Because of things that have come to the light that were deceptive for some of you all, where pentacles are health issues or governmental things that have taken place and just come to the surface. So right here, right now, we have either you're turning around, taking the cups, working on something, or you're not, or you're bitter, okay? And the future position is the devil, okay? Happen to be tested in either opening or shutting the door to the devil, okay? Taking the key of wisdom that you're learning here and meditating on in the right now moment and either shutting the door with the knowledge, moving forward, passing the test, okay? 
th this people is not supposed to be in your life. They are only there to test you. This is karmic activity, Lord of Karma. Even this is karmic stuff with the Justice card out here. Okay, so we got Saturn energy, the boss, the the hard taskmaster, things going on at work, needing to shut the door, moving forward, quit dangling the head. Okay, time to take the cups and heal. Pass this test. Okay, even if somebody's making you feel like they're bigger than you. Okay, whatever. Don't be a fool. Okay, also, you know, people make their parents feel small. Okay, if you look at this, this looks like, this is the older person it looks like. And this looks younger. Okay, and sometimes children belittle their parents or people that should be over them. Okay, or somebody could be humbling the self. And honoring their parent as well passing the test actually this card right here has a meaning of your father or something like that with um, Saturn energy that is about um, a grandparent a boss a father figure somebody who is important to you in another deck um, using Saturn energy that is exactly what Saturn represents heart energy though family stuff also, exes and lies and people that are not supposed to be in your life as well, like I said. Uh, people making decisions, seeing a ship come in, okay? A decision could make this devil rise up. Regardless of what's going on, whatever the door is being opened or shut to, there's a testing going on. There's something profitable here. There's some kind of message, okay? Showing itself in the outcome. We're mad on time. Okay, I think it's going to pop off at 10 minutes so let me hurry up because we're already almost to seven minutes give me one cart okay just getting two cards the tenth house which is saturn which would go back to you know things that are profitable this would be the world card travel situations truth okay we've got what we're starting with with the libra card the justice and we're getting the card here as well okay so this venus ruled love and money boss situations going on mutual contracts divorces okay we've got something that's obviously overturning here um if i want to read it the other direction because we do have a hebrew language that is read from the right to the left so either which way you go there still is karmic activity out here and you have stand in truth because saturn itself is about truth and so is libra energy and we're getting it in either direction that we look at it there's under investigative stuff and a lot of law here and uh, there's bitterness as well uh, regardless what's taking place here we have upright officials, thank you for your service, showing itself in a very big way. We've got healing here. We've got rewards here. And we've got truth to set somebody free. Okay? There's big time payouts here. This is influential people or you are. Okay? Something could be very much known here and it's very profitable. It's very profitable. With Saturn energy, it gets you to the top, make you work for it, but it's very profitable. This is earned success, and you did the job, and you did it well, and you earned the success, and here you go. This is recognition for stuff. This is truth. This is bouncing out the scales. Okay, this is passing the test, because the test is right here. Okay, all right, guys, this is what's coming out. Just wanted to grab some cards, and um, until next time, shalom.